if you have a Dell Latitude E6430S and you installed Windows 11 and you're missing these drivers or maybe you have Windows 10, here's how you would find them. Right click those, go to properties, go to details. In here we will go to hardware IDs. Okay, you'll right click the first one, select copy, and then just open up a browser and we'll paste that in there. Then we'll press enter to search and you can see this one is Bluetooth related. Just do that for all of them and you'll be able to kind of get an idea usually of what they are. So to download the drivers, just go to Dell's website, dell.com. We'll go to support, okay, and then support home. In support home, you'll scroll down because the two finger scrolling isn't working. We definitely need the touchpad trackpad driver as well. And we'll type in the E6430. S. And you can see it has latitude E6430S, so you click that. Now we'll go to drivers and downloads, like select drivers here, and then select the operating system. I'm going to pick Windows 10 64-bit because they don't have the Windows 11 option. Okay, and now you'll see this list of drivers. So we did the touchpad driver, Intel Management Engine Components Installer, Intel Chipset Device Software, Dell Wireless uh, Driver, and the Bluetooth Driver. The wireless ones because the wireless is slow, so I'm using uh, Ethernet right now. And then the ST Microelectronics Freefall Driver. Uh, airplane mode switch driver, Intel management engine uh, components installer, Intel rapid storage technology driver and management console, and the Intel chipset driver. Once we check all of those, we'll scroll all the way back up to the top. So download selected over here, click that. I'm just going to save them all to desktop. It's going to ask if you want to allow multiple, click allow. And then we're just going to keep saving all the drivers that pop up. All right, now that we downloaded all the drivers, we're just going to double click each one and run them one by one. Wait till each one finishes before starting the next one. And we'll see. I'll let you know which ones actually made the drivers go away. All right, it's installing the Intel Management Engine components. And you can see that one disappeared. All right, now we're installing the airplane mode switch driver. Oh, it didn't like it. All right, what I ended up having to do was I have 7-zip installed. So I had to right click that. And then I had to go to show more options down here. And then from show more options we go to 7-zip and then open archive i created a folder on the desktop and i just copy and pasted all that into that folder so just grab all of that throw it into the folder open the folder now you can run the setup from here say yes and that will you install the airplane driver and as you can see that got rid of another one so i installed the st microelectronics freefall sensor and you can see the last unknown driver disappeared i believe this last one is the bluetooth one so you can see the bluetooth driver installed and now there's no more missing drivers all right now that we finished installing all of them we're going to go ahead and restart the computer one time and we'll see if the touchpad also lets me scroll now all right and as you can see now i can use two fingers to scroll up and down so we should be good all right hopefully this video helped you guys out thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye